Hi, good morning. This is Yong Kei Sun. I'm going to present to you data mining for stocks prediction. My team members are Vikin Shenlong and Vikasman. All the source code are contribution from all of us. I'm going to cover today the objective of this project and data acquisition. The remaining topics will be covered later part in the project. The objective for this project is to apply data mining techniques to develop a machine learning model which will be able to predict stock price or stock up and down. The data that we had identified are the company past experience or indicators, news, historical stock price, and major indices, as well as Twitter feeds. The sources that we use are major business stocks, Yahoo Finance, Star Online, and we also use RSS feed from Malaysia Kini, The Age, and Stan Daily. Uh, individual stocks news are available also from the same website, Malaysia Stocks. We have also applied for a Twitter uh, API access to the tweets. Let's look at how we can manage this data. We have created uh, virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. So this virtual machine will be automatically fired by scheduler every night at 9 p.m. And by running the scripts, all the data sources will be scrapped, collected, and eventually inserted into Google BigQuery database. Right? So we created four tables for each of the data source. Let's look at how we do it. Web Scrabble. The idea behind the Web Scrabble is really just to use uh, our SML to pull up the, all the HTML tags and, and uh, Panda gives us a very convenient library to convert the SML tags, discover the HTML table tag specifically and convert it to a data frame. So the idea behind it is really if you look at the website, yeah, use the, we can use the inspector feature here to select the stocks, find out, select the entire table, this is the table tag, and use this to do a copy as path, and insert this as path into our scripts. This is a relevant scripts, and this is a relevant as path. By scrubbing, by, by using this as path, we can easily execute the panda rig to HTML command, and it will return us conveniently uh, Pandas data frame. Right. From this Panda data frame, we then can insert it into Google BigQuery. 2GBQ is basically is also a Pandas uh, function. So all this time is quite nicely. All right. So only thing to take care of this script is if you convert the billions, the market capital billions to three zeros, because some some unit for market caps is millions. So we have to standardize this. Okay. So that's one. This is one data source. The other one we look at is uh, individual data source. Early on, we look at one table which contain all the information for all stocks, but some information is not available on that table. Therefore, we go to the to the stars. And we're going to collect all the individual numbers here, all right? The only challenge here is we have to iterate through all the available stocks in Malaysia, all the 948 stocks. And other things we need to clean up is the buy price and the buy volume, or the bid price and bid volume. We just split it into two numbers, okay? Before storing the database. The next one is we we also use the same uh, same Malaysia biz, Malaysia stock biz website to scrap the individual news relevant to that particular stocks. Okay? Basically use the same technique using pandas and XLXML. That's why we look at RSS feed. This is uh, even uh, neater. We use a three, three RSS feed data source. And by calling, by, by having just three HTTP call, we are able to grab all the RSS feed available for the, each of the data source. Right? And then, of course, we only we only store the 
uh, current dates RSS feed into our database to avoid any duplication. Lastly, we look at Twitter. Twitter has its uh, very special limitation. It only allows 450 requests. Return only 450 tweets per request. And maximum request is 450 per 50 minutes. Yeah, so we have 900 over stocks here. So we have to split our HTTP or API request into three iterations. And we have to make sure it's the each of the API call is is um, is after fi after 50 minutes, right? So we're going to do multiple loops. Each loop is after uh, with an interval of 50 minutes, and we're able to collect all this interesting information for each stocks. So we can we can look through for every stocks. We can request we can request uh, tweets that has keywords on the stocks name or code code name, right? And we are able to get the tweets text, how many times it has been tweeted, and whether the tweet is has been favorited. And ID are unique identifier for each tweet. Okay. So before we end, just want to show you that the entire information is stored in the Google Google uh, BigQuery platform. So this is our data set and multiple tables within the data sets, business news, for example, look at preview. This are all the information uh, has been saved, including Chinese characters, right? Major indices. This will tell us all the major indexes in the whole world. KLC is one of them. Uh, stock prices. We will collect all the individual counters and their and their and their relevant information, right? And the tweet feed. Twitter feed. Yeah, these are the data collected. So thank you very much for thank you very much for your time. That's all we have today. We'll continue again uh, three weeks later on the next assignment submission. Thank you.